Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will take you through friction in mechanics of machines 1. Kindly note that this is a continuation. Let's begin with this question. Two coaxial rods are connected by a turn buckle which consists of a box nut, the one screw being right-handed and the other left-handed on a pitch diameter of 22 mm, the pitch of thread being 3 mm. The included angle of the thread is 60 degrees. Assuming that the rods do not turn, calculate the torque required on the nut to produce a pull of 40 kN, given that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.15. Solution Given D equals 22 mm P equals 3 mm Beta equals 30 degrees Mu equals 0 0.15 W equals 40 times 10 to power 3 newtons. Finding tan alpha, which equals 0 0.0434. Finding the virtual coefficient of friction. Mu1 equals 0 0.173. Finding the force required at the circumference of the screw. P equals 8720 newtons. Finding the torque on one rod. T equals 95.92 newton meter. Since the turn buckle has left and right hand threads, the torque required on the nut is given by T1 equals 2T which equals 191.84 newton meter. Here is a second question. The mean diameter of a Whitworth bolt having V threads is 25 millimeters. The pitch of the thread is 5 millimeters and the angle of V is 55 degrees. The bolt is tightened by screwing a nut whose mean radius of the bearing surface is 25 mm. If the coefficient of friction for nut and bolt is 0 0.1 and for nut and bearing surface is 0 0.16, find the force required at the end of a spanner 0 0.5 meter long when the load on the bolt is 10 kN. Solution Given D equals 25 mm P equals 5 mm Beta equals 27.5 degrees. R equals 25 millimeters. Mu equals 0 0.1. Mu2 equals 0 0.16. L equals 0 0.5 meters. W equals 10 times 10 to power 3 newtons. Finding the virtual coefficient of friction. Mu1 equals 0 0.113. Finding tan alpha which equals 0 0.064. Finding the force on the screw. P equals 1783 newtons. Finding the torque transmitted. T equals 62.3 newton meter. Let P1 equals force required at the end of the spanner. Finding the torque at the end of the spanner. T equals 0 0.5 P1. Finding the force required at the end of the spanner. P1 equals 124.6 newtons. Here is a third question. A 60 millimeters diameter shaft running in a bearing carries a load of 2000 newtons. If the coefficient of friction between the shaft and bearing is 0 0.03, find the power transmitted when it runs at 1440 RPM. Solution Given D equals 0 0.03 meters. W equals 2000 newtons. Mu equals 0 0.03. N equals 1440 RPM. Finding the torque transmitted. T equals 1.8 newton meter. Finding the angular speed. Omega equals 150.8 radians per second. Finding the power of the motor. Power equals 127.4 watts. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I am Engineer Mayday, when you need help Mayday is the call. You have been an interactive learner. Thank you.